Hilary, what are we making today? Well, I've got a double whammy for you. We're making a wonderful spicy bread, and with that, a soup. So it's really simple. I'm going to start off with the bread, because we want to get it, that into the oven. We want the hot bread with that delicious, hot, spicy soup. So we've got some flour with some baking powder, cheese, of course, chilies. I've got two chilies that I've sliced. I've left the seeds in just for you. OK. All right, a little bit of cool salt that we'll sprinkle over the bread just before it goes into the oven. It gives it a sort of really nice crunch. Some tomato puree. The bread is going to be rich and red some chopped sun-dried tomatoes, some olive oil, eggs, and some salt and pepper. All right, I can't bear anybody not working when I'm working. So here, yes, here goes. <laughs> I need you to crack these eggs into this bowl. You know, just a tip, when you're cracking an egg, if you put it in the palm of your hand, what happens is the yolk sort of slides to the bottom. Do you understand what I mean, like right. that? And then when you crack it, you're not likely to break the yolk. Beat the eggs to aerate. Then add self-raising flour and oil as well as the tomato puree. Combine using your hands or a big wooden spoon. And then we mustn't forget those lovely chilies. Oh, a bit yeah. of kick in. Yes. Give that a good sort of mix. Go easy on the salt because remember the tomato puree has some salt in it. So just a little sprinkling of salt and some pepper, of course. Yeah, you can never go wrong with salt and yeah, pepper. Yeah, And then lastly, the cheese. Mix it well until combined. Then press into a medium loaf pan prepped with cooking spray. Bake in an oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Find the complete recipe on Expresso's website or SMS the word soup to 33728. So the bread will bake for about 45 minutes. It will rise beautifully and it will really look good. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Definitely. Stay tuned for a delicious soup recipe that's the perfect accompaniment to the bread. By partnering with the WWF, we found goodness in sustainable fishing practices. Pick and pay, always there for you. Linda and Hillary made a tomato and chili loaf. Here's a quick recap. Beat the eggs and combined flour, baking powder, olive oil, tomato puree and mature cheddar cheese. Mix lightly then press into a loaf pan sprayed with cooking spray. Bake in an oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius for 45 minutes. Let it cool in the pan for 10 minutes before turning out. Let's get on to the soup. This is like a sort of cheat but really smart soup because you can, I'm going to show you a real trick of how to pour it into the soup bowl. And it's using two cans. You're using sweet corn and you're using the Mexican style of tomato. So they've already got the chili all mixed in. It's a Mexican tomato and corn soup that we're making. But what we're going to do is keep them separate as we pour them into the dish. So one half will be corn and the other half will be sort of Mexican tomato. All right, we've got quite a lot of corn here, like you've been saying. Okay. Um, what you need is obviously the cans, as we've discussed, and you need a little dash of nutmeg that works particularly well with corn. We've got some chicken stock here. And just to finish it off nicely, I'm going to top it with some sort of roasted corn kernels. And for that, you either need a cob, a mealy cob, that you're going to grill. You could do this over the fire or under the grill. Just rub it with a little bit of olive oil and then keep turning it. So it also, it's almost burning. You know, that yeah. sort of lovely back, yeah. black tinge that makes it so delicious. Absolutely. An easier way is to take a can of whole kernel corn. If you would just toss in a little bit of olive oil. A tip is to use light olive oil and not extra virgin because the heat denatures the oil. Also sprinkle with paprika and season. They're going to go into a hot oven of at least sort of 200 degrees. You want to try and get them in a single layer, not all bunched together. The oven is still hot from the bread the duo baked earlier. Hillary keeps it at 180 degrees Celsius and roasts the kernels for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, combine the sweet corn with a can of chicken stock in one pot and the chopped tomatoes and stock in another. Okay, I'm just going to let's season them. Okay. Uh, a bit of salt and pepper is just great if you give it a grind into each. Right. As you season the soup to taste, remember to give it a good stir. Also, bring it to the boil and blend it till smooth. 
Serve the soup in flat bowls, taking a teacup of each and pouring it simultaneously. Sprinkle with the roasted corn kernels. So it looks really good, Hilary, yeah. It just needs a little more corn down the center line. It actually reminds me of a smiley face. It's a good way to start the weekend, isn't it? Absolutely. A smiling corn and tomato soup. <laughs> and then we mustn't forget that beautiful bread we made earlier. I'm just going to take it out. It's cooled down beautifully. See, it slides out nicely. And nothing about me is thin or skinny, so I never cut thin slices of bread. I'm gonna cut a lovely chunk. Now this is enough to make you fall in love with winter. Let's see the main steps again. Start by coating the corn kernels in olive oil, also seasoned with paprika. Roast it for 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, combine a tin of sweet corn with chicken stock, add in a separate pot a tin of chopped tomatoes with stock. Blend and simmer, then serve side by side, sprinkled with roasted corn kernels. I know we don't have any butter, but just give it a taste. That's okay, well. do the real thing. Mmm, mmm. Good. Quite crispy as well, I really like that. Yeah. So out of 10, how much do I get today? I know you've got to think hard. I'll give you eight. An eight. <laughs> eight. Okay, I can live with an eight. An That's eight great. Very decent. <laughs> Remember, you must SMS the keyword soup to 33728 and we'll send the ingredient list directly to your phone. Or find the full recipe in the Sunday Times Food Weekly this Sunday. By supporting businessmen like Sibusisu Chabalala and his Berry Hill Trading Company, that's where we found goodness. Pick and pay, always there for you.